hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about localized uh, javascript in wordpress so what is localization in javascript for wordpress so um it is used to define dynamic variable and uh, we can use that variable uh, into our custom js for example, there is no way to write any function in the JavaScript to get current logged in user ID. So in such cases, we can pass the current logged in user ID into localization variables. And then that variable we can use into the JS. Um, in order to continue this video i would suggest to watch this video first about uh, how to add ajax in wordpress tutorial number 15 from this playlist i will provide this link into the description section so i am going to continue on this um on this video and uh, will show you how to use localize java script so first of all uh, let me show you this is my local site and i have created one custom plugin which i have activated on the site and uh, in that custom plugin i wrote this uh, wp ajax script so first of all let me open my custom plugin which is wordpress content plugin my plugin this is my custom js let me make a little bit small so this is the js and i have included that chase into this custom action filter so if you don't know how to enqueue or include js in the wordpress i will provide link into the description section as well but just to know with this action uh, with this function we can include this custom js into our plugin so in my case i have added into my plugin asset.js plugins.js so this is the handle this is the plugin url and this is dependency that my plugin is dependent on jquery the plugin version and um, this is for specifying and queuing the footer so this is how i included this plugin.js into my site and uh, if you if i can show you in the view page source control or command f plugin dot js so this is the js file plugin my plugin asset js and as you can see this is the small ajax code into js so we are requesting an ajax data is this action and abc one extra parameter so we are requesting it to the wp ajax using this action and uh, and this action is written inside this file custom ajax.php so here is the action so whatever action we pass over here 
based on that action we can perform our function or any feature in this function so in this function i am getting title of uh, 10 post and uh, sending the title to this request and finally i am appending the result into the post list id but um so after doing that let me show you one thing when i refresh this page I am getting this URL Ajax URL is not defined which is this generally Ajax URL is defined by default in the WordPress um, let me show you this is on the front side uh, it is somehow not defined but let me show you in the back end So as you can see uh, in the back end it is defined so now um, we don't have ajax url defined but that is a dynamic um, url so in order to fix this we can use wp localize so what we are going to do is we will define ajax url and we will add it into the localized script and then we will use up oh, sorry we will use that url over here so how to do localized script so this is the function localized script let me copy and paste it over there you should be doing where you included your custom script so this is my custom script I have added so for localized script first argument is handle so it should be the same handle which you added for your custom script object name you can pass based on your requirement it's up to you so i'm gonna add bwp obg so this object name is this one where ajax url sorry let me i will show you in a bit what the object url is and in the args we have to pass whatever we want in our case we will pass this ajax url and in order to get ajax url wordpress has function that we can use which is this admin url admin ajax dot php and now let's refresh this page yeah still it is not fixed let me show you why so i'm gonna view page source over here and I will search this object over here into the source so as you can see this object is created right above our uh, included JS so in order to get an in that object we are getting our ajax URL which is correct so in order to use this ajax url 
inside our JS we have to use like this first pass the object and then dot ajax URL okay now let's try to refresh this so now there is no error let's see our ajax is running or not so as you can see our ajax is running successfully this is the request url action is this and uh, this is temporary um, variable we passed and we are getting this url but uh, it is not able to see over here because there is no such id on this page so let's try to add an id so that we can see the result and update let's view page and as you can see our result started displaying over here now let me uh, so in this function let's try to get post from the logged in user only so for that we have to pass one parameter let's see which parameter we should pass author parameter yeah So we have to pass the author like this. But how do we get author? Uh, for that, first we should pass this into this Ajax request let me show you where so in the edge x we are passing these two parameters so with this parameter we have to pass user id as well so let's try to pass author and now how to get current logged in user id so in this case we can use localization i will pass current user id into the localization and you can use this function wp get WP get current user how to get ID
yeah this is the function get current user id so we can use this over here and uh, now let's try to refresh the view page source and uh, search this object and as you can see we are getting current user id as one now we can use that current user id and pass it over here like this now in our ajax request we will be getting current user id as you can see now we are getting author equal to one and this is the post method we are using so um here sorry here we can simply use dollar underscore post author so whatever argument we see over here we will get that inside this global variable post because this is post method if we used get method you will get all the parameters into this get global variable so first let me show you by refreshing this so as you can see we are getting everything inside this um, author oh, sorry global variable and inside that global vari global variable uh, we are getting author into this element so now we are getting all this uh, results from author one so let's try try to change the author of this wp cli and see if that our uh, implementation works correctly or not so i'm gonna click edit i will change author to this and update it now this wp cli should not be display over here so as you can see it is gone now so this is the purpose of using wp localize script so i hope this makes sense now how to use wp localize script if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section and uh, please let me know if this video is confusing i will create uh, another video if this is confusing for you thanks for watching the video